Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cedric Garish here and I'm going to show you how to get the 30 day pricing because a few people have been asking me about this. How to get this 30 day spark line in your Google Sheets for all your cryptocurrencies. As you can see, I'm running the script right now on my computer. It's literally going through every single coin and adding it to my spreadsheet. How does that work? Well, you're about to find out. We can run this within uh, Google Sheets and that's totally doable. The only problem is because I have a thousand coins that I'm tracking every single day, you have a limit of 20,000 calls with the Google server. Um, because I'm running a bunch of other requests on my Gmail account, I quickly surpass the 20,000 quota limit and then Google stops all of my scripts from running. So I'm just running this from my computer where I have unlimited scripts, unlimited server calls, and it's only based on crypto compare. So that's why. Uh, and it's honestly, you get to learn about Python. It's way more malleable. It's a lot easier to do. There is a little bit of a learning curve because you need to install uh, Python 3.6 on your computer and you need to install a few of these packages. I'm going to have all the code in the description below for you. Could just You can just copy this and it'll work for you. I've also got um, tutorials on G Sheets and how to get that to work. But first and foremost, so say you have G Sheets, which is just a client called G Spread. You have that installed. All this does is says, hey, look at our spreadsheets. This is my username and login. Go to alt stats and go to this 30 day in coins list. Okay, really easy. I'll show you how to do that. There's a tutorial below to show you how to do that. But you've already got that going. The next thing you do is coin list. So the coin list here is we're getting all the symbols we want to look at. So we're actually using this symbol list because it's more accurate or it used to be. So we're taking this symbol list and we are putting each one of these to our, the Crypto Compare free API, which gives you the historical data for as many days as you want. I'm using the 30 day right here. So you, and while that's been happening, I'm still running the thousand calls in the background. As you can see, there are a few bugs which come up, but most of this is working. So we're doing the call, basically we have the list and then we're doing a loop, a loop to loop, right? So we're going through, hey, go through Bitcoin, get the 30 day pricing. Hey, go through Ripple, get the 30 day pricing. You know, that'd be tedious if you were to do that manually. Luckily we have a computer that automatically loads the URL data, grabs the data and puts it in a pandas data frame. That's just sort of a, a really useful module in Python to help you sort data. Then through that in that you know which is like an excel spreadsheet then it says okay there's a bunch of rows that we're going to get only take the close so what did it close at for that day according to crypto compare once we have that we're going to make a new list see we've defined day 30 as a list here uh we're going to append each item in each item is uh item is defined as the list so it's going to be bitcoin and then add all 30 of those numbers to day 30. So basically we have a big list that says uh, Bitcoin and then it's like 1200, 12,000, uh, 12,010, 21, like 13,040. And that's what our list looks like, right? And then try that. If for some reason the symbol didn't work, say mistakes happened, take a look at this said, because look at this, that's a lot of mistakes. Okay, the next, so we've got all our data now. We've got all our data, and now we just need to put it in our Google Sheet. So that's really easy. We're gonna use, you can do a slow way and a fast way, and obviously, because you're a loyal subscriber, I'm gonna show you the fast way to do this. I used to do this the wrong way, and it would take me ages. But this, you can batch update all the cells. And what that does here is, I have all the cells that I want to put in here and this is exactly what I was showing you. So you have the, the symbol and then you have all 30 day pricing. So Bitcoin went to like 19K, like had this huge spike and then it's been on a downwards trend and now it's slowly picking back up, um, sort of hovering around this 15K mark. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's 2018, New Year. We put each one of these in there. 
how this works is I go to AF, which is exactly 31 columns in. So that means because each each uh, data set has 31 items. So I have to, because you have A's, A to Z would be 26, and then you add until F, and you need an extra one for the symbol. Right? So we put all of that automatically goes in, uh, goes in there. And how it works is that basically our list is basically all of that, but it's one long string. It's an extremely long string. Then that string gets uh, divided up naturally by the count, how they're all the same length. And then it, it sorts out into this magically long spreadsheet with every single data set. So you get all of that anyway, all of that in there. Then you, so that you then have to create another sheet because our coins the the ranking is always changing we can't put it hard coded into there we need to do a v lookup so one we have all our limbals all our symbols sorry which are taken we just do this is easy you just do like equals a2 and then equals a3 equals a4 and then you do a v lookup so you look up actually you don't do a v lookup here you just like sparkline 30 day we're taking B2 to AF. And then that continues. Because these don't need to be in order. That's the beauty of it. We just need this to be in the same order as this. Then if, even though that's not in the right order, here we're just doing a V lookup. So wherever it is in that ranking, Tron has just skyrocketed to a 14 billion market cap as of uh, January 5th today. You might have heard that. So it's gone up. However, it's probably not that high up on here because it's had that massive. So if we actually find Tron, uh, the Tron is TRX. So if we look for TRX, it's actually number eight, but it's number seven in our list here. But because we're using a V lookup, so because we've got the V lookup here, it'll just search for it. It'll search for that whole range and it'll give you the 30 day pricing and then you're done. So I'm gonna post the code and any reference tutorials you need to put this all in there. And you should be able to get 30 day pricing in your Google spreadsheet. I hope you enjoyed that. It, it took me a bit of time to figure this out, I'm not gonna lie. But hopefully you can avoid my mistakes and get exactly what you need.